Welcome to Big Brother Confidential, where we bring you the freshest perspectives on the biggest stories of the week in the Big Brother house. After a tough week with the sad departure of Josh, Big Brother decided to lift the housemate's spirits with a corporate team building day. Big Brother has decided it's time to bring you together. Welcome to Big Brother's corporate team bonding day. <laughs> Big Brother has provided suitable attire and corporate team bonding exercises. Big Brother has appointed Benjamin as team spirit leader. <laughs> Brother deems that housemates have worked together as a team, you will be rewarded as a team. Yay! It's gonna be so much fun, you guys. Yay! You've been trusting everyone. Yep. Yeah. I want you to close your eyes. I want you to fall back. And on the count of three, one, two, three. Close your eyes. And on the count of three, one, two. <laughs> Not giving up on yourself or your partner, working as a team and just ultimately having faith in, in your teammates is, is what this is all about. Yeah. should always go on to team bonding sessions with underwear on. I think that's imp I think it's important. <laughs> How are we going to pick I realise that, you know, being a team, you can all move as one. Mm. You know, so embrace it and move forward. Right. Oh, my God! Fucking the possibility! While the housemates succeeded in the trust and faith tasks, it seemed the invention test had them all a little stumped. What could they make out of the common wire coat hanger? Oh, we could make a fruit bowl. I like because we can we can bend these as long yeah. as it's like solid in the middle. Good twist. Oh look, it looks like Ben's having a tough day. Wouldn't a head scratch be nice, Ben? Yeah. <laughs> We've created this excellent head scratcher. Oh, wow. I made you a flower. Yeah. This is what we call a Meepa repellent. <laughs> It's a device to repel all meepers. <laughs> Basically, Stacey could have meeped around me all afternoon, creating me to be in a very bad mood. But once the meeper is repelled, and all of a sudden have really great conversation. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Ange and Sam shopping channel. Hello, guys. How often in your kitchen does, you know, the fruit bowl take up too much room? Uh, oh. Most days. Oh, right here, right now for $5. Wow. Alrighty, so that's that. That's done. Now let me ask you, guys and gals, how often do you hang up your tie and it slides to the end and the coat hanger goes like that and it falls off? Drainer, me all the time with my butch ties. We get the ultimate suit hanger. Yeah, that's Let me great. show you your tie. Right here, today, for $10.99. For only $10.99. Does he come with a coat hanger? So for only $10.99, you get this beautiful suit hanger. Uh, as you can oh. see, the... I can see. It not only holds ties, it also holds belts. <laughs> then... <laughs> but wait, oh. there's more. Do your underpants also fit in this... Oh, drainer, not worth it. This is the ultimate business hanger. $10.99, right here, right now, for you. That's it. That's it, that's all you'll pay. You this is Big Brother. The corporate bonding day has been a success. Oh, and housemates, Big Brother would like to purchase one of the business suit hangers. Would you accept payment in three easy instalments? If you could ask just one question to a person, who would it be and what would the question Holy be? Holy cow.
something special for you today. Delilah, to the diary room and bring Stacy with you. A special delivery came for you today from the butcher. Oh. I guess dreams can come true <laughs> in the Big Brother house. <gasps> On three, there will be a hot shower and I will be able to wash my filth. One, two, three. Let's go. Different. Watch this. You've got to do it nicely. You say, please be hot. Ah, interesting technique. I have another one. Big brother, if you can't turn the hot showers on, I will make a move on Estelle tonight, giving you rock solid television entertainment. On three, two, one. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> That's on you! <laughs> Big Brother is truly a funny person. <laughs> After the success of the corporate challenge, the housemates were in a trusting mood. Enough to share some more information that the others might not know about them. So I'm going to say that I would only tell people that I trust that I wear makeup every day. Mm. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah, I like that and doesn't one. he look positively radiant? Yeah, he does. Yeah, hey, Sam, how are you? Oh, I mean, it is something negative for the fact that Mum had breast cancer, um, but something positive's come out of it, and she's all clear. So that's something I've already told you guys because I trust you. I know and I shaved my underarms. Yeah. Right, I'm going to go deep because um, the reason I get so upset about addiction is because my is a heroin addict. Wow. Mm. So crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if you see one ultra sensitive times, that's why. But mm. it's you know I can say it doesn't change person and yeah. Yeah. you can still be positive yeah. in life regardless of where you come from. Yeah. So proud. So, yeah. Exactly. Um, I have, uh, whilst I spit, uh, doctrine willy-nilly and prance around with all my wanky rhetoric, I've never voted in my entire life. Mm. <laughs> I guess mine would be hmm? as much as I, um, put on the happy face and make sure that everyone else is okay. Um, you know, sometimes I'm not always happy within myself, but I let people that I trust make me feel better about that kind of thing. Um, I let people I trust into the deepest parts of me and that is the fact that I am extremely self-confident. Uh, self, uh, sorry, not self-conscious. Self and I have massive confident issues. Mm -hmm. And um, um, although people can see it straight away, it, they don't always know how much it affects me yeah. and how deeply it affects me, yeah. but it has affected me to the point of, you know, counselling and stuff before. And so, yeah, I only let the people I trust completely in and, yeah. Um, the whole confidence thing, mm. like, I've had to... I never wanted to go to school, just from crap at school, and I had no confidence whatsoever. Like, I was the most unconfident person. I wouldn't do anything out of my comfort zone. Mm. I tried to avoid situations just because I didn't want anyone to fuck at me. Mm. Now, coming onto something like this has really helped me. Mm. I'm glad I went through the bad times because it moulded me as a person and turned me into who I am today, and I've, I've got... I am confident now. Mm. Some of you might know, when I was younger, I, um dealt with depression and was on antidepressants for three and a half years and I was able to come out of this and and being on this show for me is like like I said to a lot of people it's the icing on the cake I've come a long way and things are just starting to work out for me perfectly and being here and meeting all you guys was just sort of like creme de la creme yeah. so thank you we love you Cut.
Bad cud is um, slang for cuddle. Stacey one day went up to me and she said, Give me a cud cud. Cut cut. Any snuggles that are done in a purely platonic sense are cut cuds. Apparently, I would love cut cud. Come give me a cut cud. I could be in a conversation with someone and then the meepers just are wandering through the house like lemmings and they see you doing something and they flock over and just jump all on it. They're like, me. Do you mind if I have a look at what you've got? I'm not going to do anything. See what, yeah, what you've got. Oh, wow. Me. Meepers take conversation down to a, to its lowest level possible. Yeah. Meeping drainers, because they drain you with their meeping. <laughs> Drainer. drainer is shortened for emotional drainer. Mm. So it's when you're doing something that you don't want to do. It's um, not your cup of tea. No. It's so a drainer. It's a drainer. Drainer. Green. 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 Doing the dishes is a drainer for the fact that nobody likes to do it. Today has just been an absolute ridiculous drainer day. When it's bigger than crazy, go, whoa. That is cray-cray. Yeah, I think you're going cray-cray. No, no. Come on, don't repeat you? after me. Oh, so if Big Brother were to say housemates are going cray-cray, that would make sense. Yeah. yeah. Well, there's nothing quite like a low sensible heel, and I think the ladies of Australia will agree there. I really love that low sensible heel that you're rocking. <laughs> low sensible heel means that you've got heel support. Just put on your low sensible heels. You like my low pink sensible heel? A low sensible heel is always, always the key. How about the term ruffle toffle? Oh, okay, ruffle. Ruffle stands for rolling. No, what is it? A ruffle toffle is where it's that hilarious that you laugh like this. <laughs> I think ruffle stands for. Gee, I don't even know. Isn't it rolling on the floor laughing? Yeah. <laughs> Are you down with the lingo now, Big Brother? That is the real question. Yes, Estelle. Big Brother is now down with the lingo. Word up. To save Zoe, call 1902-559514, SMS Zoe to 199-5599 or vote on Facebook. To save Angie, call 1902-559501, SMS Angie to 199-5599 or vote on Facebook. You know what we should play? What? 20 questions. Christian rock responses. Okay. I know. Alright, um. Are you a lady? No! Are you an actress? So I could say yes! <laughs> Are you with me now? I can feel your hand! Can I feel your grace? You took me in to sleep and you whip me up with kisses. <laughs> I know I believe that's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> Are you the wind in the trees? Are you the sun on my face? Oh, Lord. Did anyone just see God getting back at me? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, big fella. You're all going to hell. <laughs> Earlier in the show, Benjamin revealed he wears makeup every day, which prompted a discussion on whether it should be socially acceptable for all men to do it. I know for me, sometimes people say, oh, you wear makeup, so that might, that's a sign of insecurity. I would say I started in 2001. So, yeah, that's 11 years of wearing makeup every day. But I used to go to work thinking, I hope no one notices, I hope no one notices, I hope no one notices, and be like, have a lot of anxiety. Yeah. But my mum, who had known me my whole life, she didn't know that I was wearing it. I would wear makeup if it were deemed socially acceptable. I was talking with Josh how we think it is ridiculously unfair that girls change into these completely different people mm -hmm. when they go out. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, we're just stuck with what we have. 
We have to work on our personalities. My, the boys that I live with wear um, makeup when they go out, in, and that's because I've like pushed it. Like if they've got a pimple, I'll put concealer on it and I'll bronze their faces before they go out, and they will look like hot to trot, and they'll be like. Yes, this is what I'm going to do. And now we all do it. It needs to move to the next stage where I think people are aware of the fact that so many men are wearing makeup and that it becomes sort of normal. Like it's socially accepted. Hey, big brother. Angie, today we're here to talk about love. <laughs> what about love? Do you believe in love? To believe in love, I'd, I'd like to find love. Every now and then, you might get the fairy tale, and that's probably the reason why I'm going to be chronically single for the rest of my life. When I go out, I'm not looking to meet anyone, and I usually don't just because I'm too busy out having fun with my girlfriend and doing what I want to do, not what I think guys want me to do. And I think more girls should strive to do that. What about you, Andrew? What's your perfect man? I honestly don't have a type, but I think I just would love to find someone who liked me equally as much as I liked them. Like, yeah. my dad always said, never to settle for second best. Same. My dad said never settle for second best, but then again, he always said, look at his bank account first. Uh, which I don't. Which you don't, but yeah. I'm so sick of dating little boys. I want a man. Like, I want us to both wake up every morning going, how the hell did I get you? Yeah. But it seems Angie's dating insecurities may be getting in her way. The thought of not knowing someone and going on a date with a complete stranger terrifies me. I'm a real dork when it comes to like flirting. Like I'm a really flirty person that like I'll like punch you or something like that. But like that's just me being like Hello, four year old. No, 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 but that's yeah, that's it. Like I've been in two long term relationships. I don't know how to be single. I want the fairy tale. I want the fairy tale so badly. And I think I probably want the fairy tale almost too badly because I feel like the more I want it, the less I'm going to get it. Oh, they are. Angela will allow Big Brother um, to keep his eyes out uh, for any Prince Charmings that he might know or see or, you know, pick up on. They are a rare beast. They are a rare beast. I need to catch myself one of them. <laughs> To save Benjamin, call 1902-55902, SMS Benjamin to 199-55999 or vote on Facebook. To save Estelle, call 1902-55905, SMS Estelle to 199-55999 or vote on Facebook. Whenever the housemates break the rules, they're sent to the naughty corner by Big Brother, and it's usually for one reason. Big Brother trusts those smiles won't fade, even if they're sent to the naughty corner for not wearing their microphone, Benjamin. <laughs> Stacey, you are not wearing your microphone. Oh, stacker. This is Big Brother. Mike, you are micless. You should note that, though. Oh, it's been noted. <laughs> and while every housemate is prone to forgetting, there's one who's a repeat offender. This is Big Brother. Angie, no mic again. Angie, you are not wearing your microphone. This is Big Brother. Angie, collect a copy of the housemate guidelines and read the page about microphones out aloud ten times. Oh, that is all. Ten. Angie. For the umpteenth time, you have forgotten to put your mic on. You are so on report. It has been noted that you're a repeat offender of this and will be dealt with. That is all. Hey, baby goose, you need an accessory. You need an accessory somewhere. Too late. It has been noted. You're not wearing your mic. Oh, I, I was wondering, can Ben and I get 
some blue sequined um, like stretchy material because we want to make matching onesies. We want to wear it on eviction night. Like, and we'll have a, um, an S and a B and a B for Stacey and it's like, I'm going to wear this full on um, glitter onesie. Can we have that? So what we basically want to achieve is like a, a tight onesie and it will just be sort of short all in one like my sort of normal one. So it's going to be really tight blue sequins and with an S and we're, that we're going to just like glue on. And then Ben will have a matching one and his will be like red or blue or just get whatever the cheapest material is at Spotlight. And then he'll have a matching onesie or he'll have flare onesie, have a beautiful flare onesie. It has been another awesome day in the Big Brother house, awesome. and especially because of all of you. I hope you have a great night's sleep, and I'll be here to annoy you tomorrow morning. Good night, Yes, it's been real. Good night. Thank you. I got the hiccups. hiccups and Estelle hasn't seen you do the scary face yet and I'm saying if you were to come out and do the scary face. I can't do it to you with you knowing. Oh but I'll pretend that I know. You're equally as scary. I'm gonna have to go into the laundry and do it so I don't wake anyone up. Okay. <laughs> I can't see. Watching? Anymore. To save Layla, call 1902 559508, SMS Layla to 199 or vote on Facebook. To save Sam, call 1902 559516, SMS Sam to 199 or vote on Facebook. Dreamworld, the home of Big Brother.